what's up y'all and welcome to my channel i hope all of my beautiful and my handsome collective out there is doing well all right, you guys, so this reading is going to be for anyone of any zodiac sign, okay? Sun, moon, rise, and Venus, it does not matter. And if anything does resonate for you, if anything does resonate for you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment on my channel. All right, you guys, let's get into this reading and see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. So we're going to start off with some advice from Spirit, and we're going to see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. All right, so we got messages for my collectors. Let me grab this card right quick. All right, so don't take on more than you can handle. So advice that Spirit wants to give you, like ain't nothing wrong with being a hard worker, ain't nothing wrong with wanting to have your hands in many pots and, and have many streams of income and do many various things, but don't overwhelm yourself, okay? And don't take on more than what you can handle. Stop explaining how you feel to people who don't give up about your feelings. So some of you could be in a connection or just dealing with people in general. You know, you always find yourself trying to explain why you feel this way or why you do this and why you do that. And Spirit's saying you're wasting your damn time trying to explain yourself to these people because they really don't give a fuck about how you feel and why you do what you do anyway. Letting go can be difficult, but know that you are fully protected at this time okay so you know we got the full moon coming up okay this is about releasing letting go so there can be a person a situation that you can have to let go or release but just know as you let go of this situation this person that you will be protected here okay then we have men broken relationships so some of you could be now this is only if you've been thinking about mending okay this is in my advice like you should just go out there and mend all your broken relationships only if you feel like there is a relationship or a connection that you once had that you feel is worth mending okay this could be an opportunity maybe someone here wants to mend a broken relationship they have with you or maybe you've been thinking about you know mending this broken relationship okay but advice and spirit is saying if you feel like it's worth you know a relationship is worth mending then hey go for it if not then shit don't okay all right so let's start out this reading with some messages through music okay let's see what messages through music that someone here wanna want to get out their chest or something they want to say okay messages for my collective public spirit what messages through music do you have for my beautiful and my handsome collective Messages through music, Holy Spirit. What messages through music do you have for my beautiful and my handsome collective? Okay, we have Aaliyah. How could the one I gave my heart to, okay? So I feel like someone here is in this energy, you guys. This could be you or someone in your energy, okay? In the song, she says, how could the one that I gave my heart to treat my heart so bad? How could the one that I gave my heart to make me so sad okay so you could be thinking about how someone treated you in the past and and how you just were just giving your your genuine love like you genuinely loved this person you genuinely cared about this person and it was kind of like they like all this shit didn't matter you know you gave your heart to this person but they made you sad they made you cry and they also broke your heart here tell us more holy spirit and this could have been someone, y'all was like the O3 Bunny and Clyde, okay? So you could have known this person or maybe you connected with this person back in 2003, okay? Or back then in O3, you know, you and this person were like inseparable. You know, everywhere you saw them, you saw you, you know what I'm saying? But this is someone, you were kind of like this Bunny and Clyde, you know what I'm saying? Male or female, male and male, female or female, it don't matter. Whoever this person was, this was like, y'all was like the O3 Bunny and Clyde. Like, shit, you ain't see them without seeing you. But it was like throughout this connection, it was like you had to come through or you had to come to some type of epiphany, okay? In this song, she says, well, I think I'm just about over being your girlfriend, okay? So some of you, this could have been a male that you were dealing with, okay? Female, it doesn't matter. But it was like you came to some type of epiphany. 
where it was like something was revealed, something was shown to you about this person, or you just got tired of dealing with the same old, same old with this person. It was like you had an epiphany. You was like, shit, if you want to be happy, if you want to find somebody who's going to give you the love and the attention and everything that you deserve, like you're going to have to walk away from this person, either for them to get it right or shit, just point blank, period. So let's see what's going on. Let's pull some love messages here. And see what this person wants to say to you collective. If anything is resonating for you guys so far, don't forget to like this video. Messages for the collective, Holy Spirit. What does this person want to say to my collective? What happened in this connection that they shared with the collective here? Surrender. I can't be apart from you much longer here, okay? So someone here feels like, baby, they can't be apart from you much longer. And that's maybe why we have me in broken relationships. Someone here, like I said, you have a broken relationship, marriage, connection that you share with this person. They, they don't know how much longer that they can be in separation or even be away from you. So someone could be getting ready to make some type of movement towards you. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for the collective. We got battle. I've tried my best to move on, but I just can't seem to let you go. Like, yeah, someone here feels like it's been like a downward battle. Like, no matter how hard this person tries to forget about you, to move on with their life, okay, this could be you guys. No matter how hard you try to move on with your life and forget about this person, you can't. And this could be the energy of why this person's saying they can't be away from you too much longer. Because, like, no matter what this person does, like, they can't stay away from your ass. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my collective. What do they need to know about the person on their mind here? Messages for my collective, Holy Spirit. What's my beautiful and handsome collective need to know? Mm. Someone here wants to give you a promise ring, okay? And they, I feel like this is someone who made a lot of promises, though, in the past. You know, they made a lot of empty promises, a lot of broken promises, in the past, but they feel like giving you this ring, like this is going to be something to seal the deal or to let you know shit, they ain't playing. Like someone here, I feel like wants to show you in a way, like they're not playing with you. Like, yeah, they played games in the past and all this type of stuff, but it's like someone here might come towards you with a promise ring, okay? And this is their way of promising you, like they're going to work on themselves or things between you and them, you know, will get better. They won't hurt you anymore. Like someone here wants to give you a ring. But it's more than promising to do better. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my collective. I love you guys. The damage is, has already been done, and I don't know how to pick up the pieces, okay? So someone here feels like this connection is just broken. Like they feel like the damage has been done, like there is no... There's no coming back from the damage that they've done, but they don't know how to pick up the pieces here. It's like someone here, they want to be in this relationship with you. They just feel like they've just done way too much damage. Like, how am I supposed to go back? Or how am I supposed to make up for the damage that I call? You know, emotional damage, physical damage here, financial damage. Like someone here feels very broken. But they feel like this connection is very broken here. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my collective. You've been thinking about me because, baby, I've been thinking about you and we're connecting, okay? So you can be feeling this person's energy. Maybe sometimes, you know, you could be sitting there, you, you could be busy, or maybe you're not busy, but it's like all of a sudden, like, this person just pop up in your head. And you was like, I wasn't even thinking about them, okay? And they're saying, baby, you've been thinking about me, baby, because I've been thinking about you. It's a song uh, by Raphael Sadiq. Thinking of you, and you've been thinking of me. So, someone here saying, Baby, they've been thinking about you, and you've been thinking about them. Okay, y'all check that out. I think it's called I've Been Thinking of You. Okay, let's get a couple of more messages for the collective Holy Spirit. What do they need to know? All right, so we got yes. So if there is some type of question that you've been wanting to know about this person or something here is yes. You got the answer to a question is yes. Whatever question that you've been wondering about this person, the answer is yes. Maybe that's for somebody specific here. 
Maybe this person wants to let you know, yes, they do need you in their life, okay? This could be someone that's kind of codependent, though, okay? We need somebody that can be independent, because we ain't trying to be codependent on nobody else's energy here. But maybe this person saying, yes, I do need you. Yes, I've been thinking about you, okay? Because we have yes here. Let's get one more, Holy Spirit. Damn. I feel like an idiot for the choices that I've made. I wasn't thinking clearly at the time. So somebody here feels very foolish, okay? You guys, Ashanti, all these songs coming to me, okay? Ashanti got a song called Foolish. Y'all may want to check that out. But somebody here feels very foolish for their actions. They try to move on, baby, but they know they can't. And for some of you, this is why you will be hearing from this person or they will be coming back around because they can't move on from you. You know what I'm saying? No matter how hard this person tries, they can't move on from you. So let's pull from the who that and let's see who this reading is about. So this could be describing you guys or this could be describing your person, okay? We want to see who this is who can't just continue to be without your energy, okay? They try their best to move on, but baby, they just can't seem to let you go. Now, this could be how you feel as well, collective, okay? Y'all take it how it resonates. Messages for the collective Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about? Who is this reading about Holy Spirit for my collective? All right, this could be about someone who has sideburns. This could be you or your person. Messages for my collective. All right, we got straight teeth of somebody who has very pretty teeth. Okay, they got that cold gay smile. We got salt and pepper hair. Someone who wears gym shorts all the time. Somebody got a nice kabute. Someone who has big hands. This could be a male, could be a woman. All right, we got big lips and a bald head. All right, so let's get the signs, y'all. Let's see who this reading is about for my collective. Now, this could be your sign, you guys, or this could be the person that you're dealing with as well, okay? Y'all take it how it resonates. We got Aquarius, Taurus, Pisces, Sag. Cancer, Capricorn, Sag, Virgo. Libra, Taurus, Aries, and Sag. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.